welcome back to another episode of the Beer Knits podcast where I show you some of the knitting, crocheting, cross-stitch projects I've been working on over the past couple weeks while talking about and drinking beer. Today's beer is this, I put my pants on one arm at a time, which is a, I believe, collaboration between Artisanal Brew Works and Rushing Duck Brewing Company. We stopped at Artisanal Brew Works on our way to Vermont, and we had every intention of just sitting down, getting a single flight, and calling it a day, and we ended up sitting there <laughs> actually for about three hours. I had my knitting with me, of course. Um, but after a few of these, that had to go away. <laughs> um, we made some friends at the bar with us. We had some really good burgers and fries from a burger facility next door. And we just really enjoyed our time there. So um, we did get flights, but this was something that they were almost sold out of. And the bartender... I think he might have been one of the owners, or he was at the very least a manager, asked us if we liked IPAs. So I immediately raised my hand and said, I absolutely do. And so he gave me a taster of this, which I knew I needed to have immediately. Again, it's an Imperial IPA, so super strong, which I always forget about because to me, if a beer tastes good, a beer tastes good. But when I sent Scott a picture of what I was choosing to drink, he was like, oh, I see you have chosen violence today, basically. So I'm, I don't know, we'll see how this goes, but this was really good. This brewery was located in New York. Again, we were just passing through on our way to Vermont and Scott looked up some breweries that we could stop at on the way and we just, we really liked it. The logo is really cool. It's um, a guy with a hop beard and they have a bunch of merch with the logo on it. So I, who am obsessed with beer hoodies, so um, I definitely had to get a hoodie with the logo on. But yeah, so really tasty. And this is what will be going down the hatch today. So here we are. I finished my little Let It Snow penguin from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And it's so cute. Um, all in all, I think this took exactly two weeks. I started it two weeks ago while we were hanging around in the hotel waiting for our friend's wedding to start. So I'm not too shabby considering I'm really slow at cross stitch, but I'm getting better. Um, I don't think you can tell with the lighting, but the Ada is a light blue, so the white will pop. Um, and I'm not going to display it in a hoop. I got a white hexagon frame from Amazon that's coming here tomorrow. So once that's here, I'm going to kind of clean this up a little bit, um, soak it, steam it around the edges so there's not any markings. And then I think the, um, I think it's going to look really cute in the hexagon hoop. I think it's going to be a cool shape. So really glad that I finished it. Kind of sad that I finished it just in time to put it away for spring. Well, hopefully anyway, um, the weather has been kind of up and down, but yeah, I really love him and I'm really happy that I was able to to actually finish another cross stitch since I am still pretty slow with it. So good times. And there we have it. Here's my little penguin. I have him temporarily on display on one of the speakers in our living room. Um, but yeah, I think this weekend I'm decorating for spring. So that'll be the end of him for another year, but I'm really happy with the way he came out. Again, I just got this hexagon frame on Amazon. It wasn't that much. I believe it's the seven inch frame. They also had eight inch frames, but it fits really well. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with the way that it looks with my, my new little guy. And then before I forget, because Scott will be sad, this is what I made him for Valentine's Day. It's a little circus elephant ornament. Um, I bought the kit off Etsy. And yeah, it's really cute. He really loves elephants. So you'll notice that a lot of the stuff that I make him is either some type of elephant or something blue. So this kind of has the best of both worlds. Um, the count was really low. 
So I stitched three over one to make sure that there weren't any holes and there was some, some pretty good coverage. Um, I will find out the shop. I think it's like Leia Patterns um, and I will link it down below in case you want one. I believe she has plain elephants. She has some other really adorable kits as well and it wasn't expensive at all. I thought it was very reasonably priced and it comes with everything you need. So I thought this was really cute and now we just have to figure out somewhere to, uh, to put them. The last time we spoke, I had mentioned I was starting to work on the Floral Paradise Afghan kit from Annie's Attic. It's a mandala blanket so it's really pretty this is what it's gonna look like so I actually went ahead and did that this is yarn for the second kit and here's what the completed first kit looks like it's really pretty um, I think I did something here where the stitches are just a little too tight because it does kind of pucker in the middle but I think it'll be okay once I start um, getting more of the blanket going around so it'll it'll loosen up kind of but I really do like this stitch right in here. I think it looks cool. Uh, for C agrees, he can't wait to claim it as his own and have another blanket to sleep on, as you can imagine. But yeah, I, I'm really liking this so far. I think it's really pretty, and I can't wait to see what the next kit brings us. At this point in my life, I don't think one of these podcasts is complete without some type of yarn haul because why not? I'm Looney Tunes. So a friend of mine has a friend who opened up a yarn shop in Downingtown, PA. It's called Yarning Town. And Scott and I went down to visit her last weekend and we went to the grand opening of the yarn shop so it was really fun and I got some goodies that I'm going to share with you now. The first thing is of course this yarn bowl. It's 3D printed I think relatively locally and I just thought it was really cool um, especially when I'm working on my scrap projects the little balls are just like rolling all around so this will be a nice place to keep those and then not have them rolling around while I'm knitting. So I'm really excited about that. She had a ton of different colors. In news that will shock nobody, I chose the brightest pink that was available and I just think it's really cute. And then y'all know me with my notions. So of course I picked up adorable little stitch markers because honestly like they're the best gifts that you can buy for knitters and it's the one thing that I think knitters should always be buying especially if they're themed because they come in so handy. So these are from Twice Sheared Sheep. Um, they're snag free stitch markers and this one is mermaid themed and I just thought it was really pretty with the colors and the scales. And then these are kind of similar but well, they're similar in that they have scales, but it's a dragon and then the colors are even brighter. So I couldn't choose and so I needed to get both, but then she also had um, cording row counters. So here's a row counter that comes with a dragon and this will be good to attach to my project bags so that I always know where I am depending on the project. Of course, I always have to buy yarn <laughs> when I visit a yarn shop, so I let Scott pick out yarn for yet another hat. He's going to have like 45 hats by the time like we're 90. So she had this beautiful yarn from Cape May Fiber Company, and this is called Winter Waves. Again, shocking no one, it is like a denim blue. And I think I'm going to knit him, and I have to see if he likes it, but I really like it. Um, Casapinka released a pattern that's Ukraine-themed. I think the top of the hat is meant to look like a sunflower. Um, I think I'm going to knit that with this because it's pretty unisex, and I think this blue would look really pretty with it. And it's, it's, a, it's a gorgeous pattern, so if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. But... This is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. 
So this will also last quite a while. Anything with nylon is always my preference for wearables. Then the other yarn I got is also from Cave May Fiber Company. This one's called Boardwalk and my friend and I were both instantly drawn to this yarn for obvious reasons. It's so pretty. I thought it would be really cute for spring. Um, it look, looks kind of like garden-y. So I'm pretty excited about it. I need to figure out what I'm going to make with it. Maybe some type of shawl. Um, I might pick out some type of contrasting yarn and do like a two color shawl or something like that. So I think that'll be really pretty. Again, that yarn shop is called Yarning Town and it's in Downing Town, PA. Here's all of the information. Um, I do plan to get down there and visit my friend for some of the groups that they have and it also sounds like she's planning on doing a lot of spinning like teaching people how to spin and kind of not focusing on spinning but making that like a big thing that that they do there um and there's also a lot of crocheting happening on happening there which usually when you go into a uh, yarn shop it's it's mostly focused on knitting which is fine um knitting is my main bag but every now and then i get on these crocheting kicks which i'm sure you've noticed if you've been watching this since i started and um, it was really nice to see that she had a lot of crocheting supplies as well. And it sounds like she's planning on carrying Furl's crochet hooks at some point as well. So really excited um, about that for her. Excited to go visit my friend down there. I think it's going to be a really great shop and I am looking forward to it. I think in my last video I mentioned that I was going to start working on this Halloween kitty from World and Stitches. This is what it'll look like when it's done. It's so adorable. Um, when I finish my penguin. So that's what I have been up to. It's moving pretty quickly. I think once I'm done with <clears throat> this pink, there's like one more pink to go and it's just in a couple areas and then I just work on filling the stars and the back stitching, and then we are done -zo with this one already. So that's really exciting. Um, so we'll see what'll be next, but I've really been enjoying these quicker finishes just to get some off my plate. I feel like I was in a mood where I just bit off more than I could chew with some larger cross-stitch projects, and they felt insurmountable given the time I have to actually work on them. So these smaller projects that I can work on every night have been really great. I also have a few stitchy acquisitions that I got um, over the course of the past couple weeks. So one is it was my one year anniversary at work. So I got a gift card. And of course I use that to buy some cross stitches from Austiners and originally I was going to get they had two angels one had this red dress and I think the other one had a gold dress and they were really cute and I was going to get them and kind of um, bookend some type of table display with them but then I saw this Santa with a puppy and I could not resist because you know we are big dog people if we could have 400 dogs we absolutely would so i got that and this little angel i would have gotten both angels but because it was a visa gift card you can only use like the amount that's on the card per purchase it's really annoying like let me let me be clear <laughs> if you're going to give someone a gift do not give them a visa gift card let them redeem it for like amazon or just give them cash because visa gift cards are really obnoxious you can only use it for the amount of the card you can't transfer um so like let's say the card is for 25 dollars and you spend like 27 dollars. you have to take something off your purchase to be able to use the visa gift card and then you end up with like these weird bad like just just don't do it um yeah so these are cute and then um fun fact i helped adobe Yes, the company Adobe, known for Photoshop and things like that, rewrite. Um, oh, here's Mowgli. It was his gotcha day yesterday. So we celebrated that a little bit. Happy gotcha day. Um, so I helped Adobe write some of their certification exams, specifically the Marketo um, certified 
Solutions Architect something something. I don't know. They changed the name like 40 times in the past two years. So whatever. Um, <laughs> but I helped write that exam. And so I got a gift card for that. Another Visa gift card. So um, actually, no, that was one that we could redeem for anything. That's how I got these. I redeemed it for an Amazon gift card. And that's how I got all these kits. So do that. Um, so I got these, they're, um, felt ornaments that you sew and bead. They're butterflies. I'm going to make them for Scott's mom for, I may make one for her birthday, which is coming up and see how that goes and then make the rest for Christmas. But she really likes butterflies and I haven't done these felt kits in a while. So we'll just, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but then they had these nutcrackers and I couldn't resist because a I love nutcrackers like that's a big thing that I like to have out on display at Christmas but also they're the colors that I decorate for Christmas in so I like to decorate in pinks and teals um, and things like that so they match my overall Christmas decor so of course I had to get these um, yeah both are Bucilla so excited about those then I got these embroidery kits, which this one are all black kitties, like this one, um, hanging around in plants. So there's, I think, three in here, and these are all Christmas. And really cute. So I just, I don't know, I wanted to get back into embro embroidery as well. I've only ever done like very basic embroidery so it'll be nice to do something a little more um advanced I guess although I'm sure like you advanced embroidery people are looking at this like you could finish it in two minutes but not me so it'll be nice um these kits come with scissors the pattern pretty much everything you need I guess to make these so I just thought they were cute A friend of mine that I just saw made this exact cross stitch and it was really cute and she crocheted around the hoop and she's putting a bow at the top and it just, it looked so adorable. So when I saw that Amazon had it and I could use a gift card for it, I knew it had to be mine. So we'll be making that soon. And then this has been on my wish list for a while. I just think they're really cute. I really like gnomes and I just wanted to think about um, maybe making some Christmas gnomes. And the thing with these guys is I think if they're relatively quick, then I might try to make them as like little gifts to give to everybody at Christmas so everybody gets a gnome or I might just be really selfish and keep them for myself because they are really adorable but yeah you make them on plastic canvas obviously so that they're sturdy and can be used as ornaments and I mean just look at them they're so cute I am also really excited to announce that at long last my unicorn stripes is done. I am in the process of blocking this beauty. It was the 80s themed kit from Madeline Tosh. So a lot of brights, neons, purples, greens, yellows, pinks. You've got it. Um, I've been working long and hard on this and I am really excited that it is nearly done. So I needed to wash this um, corner to corner blanket that I made Scott um, early on in our relationship. It gets a lot of love, of course, which also means it gets a lot of wear and tear. You can even see that like bits and pieces of it are felting. Um, he's always using it. The dogs are always using it. So I do try to wash this more frequently than some of the other blankets that we keep on our couch. Um, this thing is massive. It's um, bigger than a queen size bed. We haven't tried it on the king size, but it would probably fit a king size bed. So it's pretty huge. I want to say it took 13 or so cakes of Lion Brand Mandala, which is great because it's acrylic, which means it's easy to wash. So all I do is I literally throw this thing in the wash. I put in just whatever detergent it is that we are using at the time. We don't really have a preference, so do whatever you want. Um, 
I'm not going to use a fabric softener, but I'm going to start using some softener because I feel like that's important. Um, it's, it's relatively soft, but still, um, I don't put it in the dryer with uh, dryer sheets or softener sheets, so that's why I want to start using um, liquid softener. Um, but then what I do is I'll put this on extra heavy just because it's been a little while since I washed it. I'm going to keep it on cold, but then I'm going to do a hand wash setting just to make sure that it's like more on a delicate cycle and doesn't get like pulled apart in the machine. And then that's it. Just hit the start button and there she blows. And then what I'll do is I'll just hang it up to dry and wait for it to uh, be usable again. It, it always feels so nice when these types of blankets are clean and able to be used. So not craft related, but these are ranunculus bulbs that I planted yesterday. They're currently sitting and enjoying some sunlight and I'm hoping that they bloom okay. This is my first time um, trying to grow ranunculus, but I love these flowers and the way that they look. Um, and buying the full plant is kind of expensive. And what I actually want to do with these is you can see that they're in these um, white buckets. And then I have these things to hang them from so that um, they can hang on our porch and hopefully look really cute. So I wanted a lot and I got a lot. I got 10 actually. So we'll see how this goes. I'm a little nervous. I have what my grandmother called a black thumb. So eh, we'll see. That is all for today. I think it was, I mean, we'll see how it comes out, but I think it's going to be a slightly shorter one just because um, the last one I did was so long and I don't have a ton of updates, but definitely making progress on the things that I do have. If you liked what you see and you want to support this podcast and um, supplies that I want to get to make the filming better because I'm just on my iPhone <laughs> right now, um, then feel free to donate a coffee to me. You can either buy me um, a coffee, a beer to drink, or donate to supplies, what have you. Um, just feel free if you feel so compelled. I will have the link below and I would love to see you over there and answer any questions you might have. All right, that's it. Make sure to follow me on social. I'm Jen Likes Yarn pretty much everywhere. That's Jen with two N's because I am a special snowflake and I will talk to you soon. Bye.